Hi everyone, it's Gabriel from the Look Digital Signage with a fresh overview of the new set of box that we recommend for using as a digital signage player. Today for our testing we have absolutely new NVIDIA Shield TV which was released in 2020. This is a junior model in line which costs just 135 US dollars but basically it is not limited in resources to normally display most of the cases created at our Look Content Manager. First, let's talk about what it lacks comparing with the flagship model. There are no USB ports, which however are not really required for our tasks. Lack of separate audio output, and it means that this model is not suitable for those who want to use it for audio streaming in the business or public facilities. The RAM is only 2GB, which is again also quite enough for most cases. Let's take a look at the package bundle. Already from the box it becomes obvious that the device is uh, from the premium segment. Everything is packed very concisely and looks really expensive. So here we have the box itself and the remote power cable. Um, looks quite poor considering that at least it would be nice to add an HDMI cable which can be highly useful in many cases. Well if you decide to use this device then don't forget to purchase it additionally. But what I really liked here is that the power supply is already built into the device itself and you will not have any difficulties with placing it behind your TV in cases when it should be very close to the wall. For example, now with the remote. It is quite stylish, ergonomic and fits well in the hands. Although for our task we only need it for the initial setup. NVIDIA Shield TV has the fastest CPU at the least in graphics displaying, uh, which honestly is not too surprising because the company is originally one of the worldwide leaders in the production of graphics components for a wide range of, of the PCs. That's why we're going to make a stress testing for this device by creating a rather non-trivial case in our CMS which will contain a playlist with 4K videos playing simultaneously with different sorts of dynamic content were made within our feature stack. So let's place the RSS app to the right side of the screen and the Twitter app as a running tag. You can check how to do this in this Look Digital Signage service and additional materials. Following the link, I'll leave in the description to the video. Okay, and finally, we'll add a third-party weather forecast widget uh, using open iframe code uh, with, our with the corresponding application from our stack. Um, and here we are. Now, let's add it to our device. Previously, we configured and signed in the Google account and downloaded the Look App Player from the Play Store. I skip all these steps because I've been describing it in my previous video and to be honest basically it works identically uh, on all the Android TVs or all of the Android TVs. Uh, well, let's check the results. Uh, all the elements of our layout are displayed correctly which is important. All the animation including running tags works just smoothly and without any artifacts which from time to time appear on cheaper models. So here's my conclusion. I would call this device as one of the best solutions based on Android for using with complex, beautiful digital signage cases in horizontal orientation. Yes, it did make a reservation, unfortunately only in the horizontal one. NVIDIA's uh, firmware doesn't allow you to rotate the screen vertically which is quite annoying and looks quite uh, like, like a serious drawback, in my mind at least. I hope this video was and will be useful for those who are just planning their digital signage networks or are looking for the modern solutions to, uh, to switch from outdated ones. So, I think it's time to say bye, see you in the next videos, subscribe to our channel and stay safe.